is spinning it round like you were before and then just turn in behind that and just spin it behind your back. In this video, I'm going to be talking all about the carved dragon bow staff we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. I'm going to be talking all about its features, what it's made from, what's carved on it, the hint is in the name, who trains with it, what classes you could use this bow staff in, and at the end, I'm going to give you a few tips and tricks just to get you started training with bow staff. Hi, my name is Doug Swift. I've been doing martial arts for the past 33 years and the owner of Enzo Martial Arts for the past 16 years. If you're liking this video, click the little icon in the bottom right hand corner, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos and updates from Enzo Martial Arts. So let's get into this video and learn all about the carved dragon bow staff we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. So as the title suggests, this is a bow staff with carved dragon all the way down the length of the staff. So a really, really pretty bow staff. Now there's not many bow staff out there in the market in the martial arts world that are particularly fancy. They all tend to be quite plain. So this is an exception. It's a really, really nice looking bow staff, really tactile. Yeah, and a lot of people really like to have something just a little bit more fancy or something that stands out from the crowd above a lot of other bow staff. So if that's something you want, this is the staff for you. Now just looking at the staff in general, it is a red oak bow staff. So red oak is a really, really durable wood, durable material, and a lot of weapons in martial arts, especially Japanese weapons, are made from red oak. It's kind of the standard in terms of material used for, for Japanese, but some, some Chinese as well, and Korean training weapon so yeah it's the standard training weapon material this particular bow staff is a really nice chunky bow staff i'll give you all the dimensions a bit later on in the video but really nice chunky really nice weight to it now the weights do vary a little bit just because it's wood you know it depends exactly what tree it's come from which part of the tree all the rest of it wood does vary but really nice chunky heavyweight in general heavyweight material really really nice and smooth now the main feature on this is carved dragon. Now in the past the dragon's slightly different to these ones here. So over time the, the actual carving might change. It just depends on what stock comes in, what, what we're able to get. So in the past we've had one where there's kind of like a ball in the middle with two spiraling dragons. This particular one I've got here has four individual dragons all the way down the shaft, so four much smaller dragons. Now this actually in terms of usage doesn't change that much, but obviously the pattern's different. If you're someone that likes collecting bow staffs, these are new on the market, I've never seen these before, so it's a really nice new weapon to add to your collection. If it's something you just fancy training with, it's the first time you've seen them, you think they look pretty cool, it's actually, as well as looking good, which is really nice to have the dragon feature all the way around the shaft really cool looking dragon as a function it also gives you a good bit of grip for your hands so it's obviously you, you get a grip off the wood anyway but this extra just slight indents of the carving on the on the on the dragon design gives you a bit of grip to your hands now you don't see grip on sticks that often you do occasionally see them on these screamer sticks just carved out on one end so yeah it's quite nice if you're someone that's looking for a bit of extra grip, actually, forget the dragon design. This is a good bit of, of functional, functional design to give you that grip on the bow staff. So what styles would you use this? Can you train with this in any style of martial art? Well, not every style of martial art, no. But the ones that use bow staffs, yes, you could probably take this in. Like I said earlier, it's not the standard in, in any style, really. You buy this because you want to stand out. You want your bow staff to look different from everybody else's. So the styles like karate, taekwondo, even some styles of kung fu, maybe the southern styles of kung fu, the ones that have been in the west a long time, will use bow staffs. So yes, you could take this into the class. Now make sure that you don't need a tapered one or something like that. It's always worth asking your, asking your instructor. But if you use the standard thickness all the way down, standard wood bow staffs, then you will be able to use this class. But like I say, karate, taekwondo, some styles of kung fu, 
are the main styles that use bow staffs. So just looking at the dimensions now, anything that we call a bow staff at Enzo Martial Arts is going to be six foot. If they're other lengths, we'll call them different names or we'll specify directly what it is. But this is no exception, so six foot or 183 centimeters. Now again, these dragon bow staffs, in terms of diameter, can vary a little bit. If you've got a specific request for what you want, just give us a shout. But these ones are really nice, chunky, 32 mil. And just taking a look at the weight, these weigh in at 1.3 kilos, just under 1.3 kilos. Like I said before, weights do vary just a little bit onward. So if you want an exceptionally heavy one, just give us a shout and we'll pick the heaviest one we've got out of the batch. Or vice versa, if you want a light one, let us know. If you're not bothered, don't say anything and we'll get it sent out to you as quickly as we can. So at Enzo Martial Arts, we pride ourselves on having a wide selection of bow staffs and sticks to train with. So as well as the carved dragon bow staff, we also have the standard red oak bow staff, rattan bow staff with skin, and without skin. Do the red oak tapered bow staff, and the completely bonkers metal bow staff that extends into a three section staff. So as promised at the beginning of the video, here's a few tips and tricks just to get you started with bow staff. Now this isn't anything particularly fancy or advanced, it's just a few things just to give you an idea of stuff you can do to get you started before you go to necessarily go to a class and get taught. So the first thing I like to do is just spinning it side to side. So again, nothing difficult. You can keep both your hands on the staff. Now you want to keep them fairly loose. So you're not grabbing the whole thing, trying to move it around. You want to be able to swing maybe just between your, your first finger and thumb so you can pivot it round and turn side to side. So that's the first thing. You just want to get used to having it spinning by your side, being really consistent, getting it in the same place each time. Now you'll notice that say if you keep your eyes on this tip, it just go, does one spin on each side. So the next thing to do is to do one and a half spins on each side. So you turn your hand over each time. So you basically let go of it with one hand and catch it and let it spin both sides. So you're doing one and a half spins each side. Now this is really the first thing that you'll probably learn and in most styles that use bow staff, you will need this spin at some point. So it's a really handy thing to learn. And this is the type of thing that you can start cranking up the speed and giving it a good spin round and occasionally smack yourself and whatever. But yeah, you can, you can really start having a bit of fun with this technique and getting used to really spinning that bow staff round and round. Now, the technique following on from this, probably the second most useful technique is reverse spins. So again, you can do the same technique, keeping your hands on the bow staff, just spinning it side to side, just one revolution, so that one end of the bow staff is leading the spin the whole time. And again, this is something that you'll see in forms and in techniques everywhere. Now, one thing you wanna do after this is again, just doing one and a half spins. So exactly the same way that you're really spinning it with one hand half the time, and then you're releasing it and catching it with the other. And it's just get up all about getting timing, nice, constant, consistent turning of the bow staff. Again, nothing difficult. Re trying to get it really smooth, and then you can start ramping up the speed a bit if you want, once you get used to this thing spinning around by your head. So yeah, two really good techniques. The third technique is kind of an add-on to the first one, and it's just quite a nice thing just to get your body moving, is spinning it round like you were before, and then just turning behind the staff and just spinning it behind your back, and back round to the front. A few really good techniques to get you started with bow staff, training in your own back garden. Thanks very much for watching. I hope it was useful. I hope you learned loads about the carved dragon bow staff we have for sale at Enzo. If you like this video, click the little icon, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos and updates from Enzo. Thanks very much and I'll see you soon. Cheers.